Hey hi all and welcome to my channel DevOps Mela. In this video tutorial we'll talk about what exactly is pipeline as a code. So just an FYI it's a continuation of my Azure DevOps series. In my previous uh, videos we have created a build pipeline using classic mode okay classic way. Now in this we'll be creating a build pipeline using YAML script. I'm getting lots of query that why don't I create a a build pipeline using yaml script so this is for them if you guys are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and like share and comment okay so before we move on let's understand what exactly is pipeline as a code okay so it's a clear-cut definition pipeline as a code is a practice of defining deployment pipelines through source code okay so what now a developer has an add-on benefit they can specify the stages, jobs, and actions for the pipeline to perform. So while they are doing the development, at the same time, they, they can define their build pipelines as well. Okay. There are several benefits. Let's talk about few of using pipeline as a code. It's version control. So changes are traceable and teams can roll back the to previous configuration any given point of time using pipeline as a code. Audit trials. So developer can see when changes were made to the source code. So even auditing is very much easier now. Ease, ease of collaboration. Code is available and visible for improvement. So the code are available in source code. Like the source code tools would be Git, GitHub, GitLab, Azure Git. In our case, we would be using Azure Git. Knowledge sharing. Now developer can share best practice, import templates and link code snippets. So other teams can learn and, and they can even reuse it. So these are few benefits of pipeline as a code. So what are the steps we're going to follow in this complete tutorial would be we'll understand. We already understood what exactly is pipeline as a code pack. We'll create a YAML script. I'll, I'll show you how to create a YAML script. And let me be very clear if you guys have no experience if you don't know how to write a yaml script then don't worry we'll be using the easiest way of creating a yaml script build pipeline in this video tutorial so if you don't you so uh, like don't worry if you don't have any experience or if, you, if you have never written yaml script in your life so I, i'll be showing you the easiest way how do we create a yaml script pipeline and we'll be running the pipeline and we'll be testing the build pipeline. Okay. So let's go in and look, we'll jump onto the Azure DevOps console and see how exactly the YAML script will be. Uh, what exactly we are doing. So we'll be running a Java Maven project using a YAML build pipeline. So this is just, a, just for example, this is what we're going to do. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be showing how exactly I've written this and how you guys can even do it. So I'll be using a Java project. Let me switch back to my Java project. Let's create a pipeline, a build pipeline now. Let's okay. Let's go ahead and create a build pipeline. So I'm in pipelines and the pipelines. I click on new pipeline. I'll select my source code repository. So Azure Git is where my source code is, and it's a Java project. Okay. So there are multiple options of creating a YAML. Uh, we can do a starter pipeline or we if you have a yaml file already created we can directly use that but we'll stick with maven uh, because it's a maven project so we'll click on maven and we'll have all the default option of maven so if you see uh, we got three one task added and we have three uh, like we have a trigger added so whenever there's a change change code change happening in master branch this pipeline will auto trigger and we have an agent pool added on which the build will be running. So it's an Ubuntu agent pool which has been added by default. And these are the tasks. Okay, so we have a build task added to it, but this is not sufficient, guys. Uh, we need a copy task and we need a publish artifact task too, so that we can get the desired output. Okay, so let's let's let me walk you through this task first. So this is a Maven task added, wherein we are giving an input as a pom.xml. We have the Java options and we have a JUnit result. So while running the build, we are even running a, a JUnit test. Okay. 
and we have a good amount of test running in the back end so we'll have a test result at the end okay so before we move ahead we need to add a few more tasks now I'll, I'll show you how how do we how do we exactly add it even though if you're not familiar with yaml that's not an issue we have a very good tool incorporated we have a so assistance tool from where we can take out the task whichever task you want to add so over here we want to add a copy task okay so what exactly this task does i'll, I'll just talk about that the source folder we have a default variable for this source folder we'll just add this system default working directory what exactly this does so it's a local path on the agent pool agent where your source code is copied okay so this is the path where where exactly our source code is copied so this is the source folder contain again we we don't want all the contain we just need the jar okay so we just need this jar contain but this is the jar which will get deployed in your end server whether it's a server on azure whether it's a server on aws so this is the place where it will get stored okay so we just need dot jar file the target folder where exactly again we'll, we'll be using microsoft default variable that is build artifact staging directory what exactly is this so the local path on the agent where any artifacts are copied so from the source folder the artifacts are copied at this particular location okay let's add this as well okay so this is done guys i just click on add and we'll have that task added this is that easy so you can add any 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 amount of tasks like the the first task what we added the maven task you can add that too by just running maven in it and you'll get all the maven options over here okay you can add that too now the next task what we want to add is uh, the publish artifact task so we need the task added just give me okay so the next task what we need to add is the publish task so i'll just go in task and just type publish artifact okay this is the task what we need to add so we already have the target folder and we are dropping that artifact whatever artifact gets created with this build pipeline we're dropping that artifact in the drop location you can change the folder name based on your requirement we'll keep it default and i'll just add this task so when this task is added let's save it I'll, i'm not running it for now i'll just save it okay now let's go into repository and see what exactly we have created this is what we have created so there's a uh, when you create a pipeline uh, using a yaml script this is the file which gets created by default azure pipelines.yaml and it's it, it's created in my java project repository and this is the task we have three tasks we have a build task we have a copy artifact task and we have a drop task wherein we are dropping the artifact whatever the artifact is created let's run this build pipeline and let's see if all whatever we did it's uh, it's right or not okay or or do we need to do any changes so i'll just go in java project this is the project which got created this is the pipeline which got created i'll just run the pipeline okay so my pipeline has executed this will take approx four to five minutes so let's let's wait for that and let's come back again when this pipeline is completed so the pipeline has already started running so let's hold down for some some minute and let's come back hello all and welcome back so yeah my build pipeline is completed now if you see all the steps are successful and we got one artifact so let's click on the artifact and see what what exactly do we have okay so we have a wrapper we have a dot jar file okay so let's go back and see so this is the build pattern is already successful we have uh, the test result is 100 percent remember we were running j unit test as well and plus we have the yaml file created in our source code so whenever a developer wants to amend 
and make changes to this build pipeline they can directly make changes to this yaml script okay this is how we write a yaml script and this is how we run a pipeline as a code okay and this was a pretty easy maven project which we were running i have one more project wherein i have added sonar cube so if you if you guys have seen my videos uh, i have created sonar cube in my previous video and i have added so the build pipeline was made in classic so i have made that thing in yaml as well so if you go, guys want this for reference you can use it this is the place I'll put it in my git you can check in my uh, description box I'll have both the yaml script in my git repository so let me walk you through what exactly this yaml script is over here I am again I'm preparing the sonar queue I have this project again I have my maven project I'm publishing my sonar queue then again the two tasks copy file and publish artifact so I'll have both my yaml script in my description box so if you guys want to use any of this even this works i don't have my sonar q server set up right now to show you how exactly it works but this will definitely work okay that's it for all and thank you and please please subscribe to my channel